Welcome to the Sattler College application. My name is Austin Lapp, and I'm the Director of Admissions here at the college. We're excited about finding people who are ready to be trained for a lifetime of impact for Jesus and His Church through academic excellence and relational discipleship. We would love for you to complete this application. There are three simple steps to this application. The first is to submit an online application. We're going to walk through that in just a moment. The second is to request all official transcripts and test scores to be sent directly to the college. And the third is to schedule and complete an admissions interview. Once we have those three pieces together and we've received all the appropriate documentation, we'll review your application and let you know of our decision. So let's take a look at the online application here. All right, so once you click the apply button on the website, you'll come to a page that looks like this and you wanna click start application. And here we're gonna just create an account here that will allow us to come back and complete this at a later time if we need to. Now that I've added my information, I can click create account. Now that we've created an account, we see a dashboard in front of us and a couple things I wanna point out. So in the top right hand corner, there's a space to edit your profile, to go back to the home page, and to log out. An editing profile is adjusting your name or your email and that kind of thing. You can also upload a profile picture there as well. On the left hand side, we have a sidebar that walks us through the different steps of the application. There are six different components. Uh, we'll walk through those in a moment, but first you'll notice a, a couple of things on the dashboard here. Some information about college entrance exams if you haven't taken that yet, English proficiency exams if you, if you need it, um, and other helpful application resources and so on. So once you're ready to, to dive in, you can click the first step called your information. And here you're going to be asked for just basic information. So personal information, demographic information, and a few other things. And you'll notice on the right hand side, it states how many of those pieces of information are required and how many you've completed. So thus far, I've added two other required 12 for personal information. Uh, demographic information is related to citizenship, ethnicity, religious affiliation, and your family. Again, very basic information. And then the academic plans is related to what you hope to do at Sattler College. So we'd love to know um, if you're applying for a bachelor's degree or for the certificate program, what type of student you are, when you're hoping to study, and so on. The academic past section is related to your high school education and your test scores. So each of these spaces has um, a place for you to add a school. So for example, let's say I wanna select a high school and then there's three different options for the kind of high school. So whether it was a, a regular high school, public or Christian private school, whether it was homeschooled or whether I received a GED. And each of these will, will give different kinds of information based on the response that you give. Test scores works in a very similar manner. If you click add test information, you can choose the kind of test. So let's say I took the ACT, I took it last week, I can enter my, my composite score and other scores. Um, these are, are not all required, so if, if there is a piece that you're missing, that's okay. But we do allow for, for self-reported test scores, um, but we do ask for official test scores uh, for an official admission. So once I'm done with that, I can click save and it will save that. If I realize I made a mistake, I can come back and edit it at a later time. Additional information is related to past work experience, academic distinctions, etc. cetera. Uh, you'll notice that past work experience is optional. It's not a required piece. These two are listed as required, but if there is nothing that you have to add here, just enter not applicable or NA. The document upload is where you'll upload two 
essays at a minimum. So there are two essays here that are required. The first is a personal statement. You can read a little bit about that here and what that needs to be. And then the response essay is navigating to this website and taking one of these pieces of content, whether it's the debate, a sermon, or a letter by Adoniram Judson, engaging that content and writing a response to that um, prompt and then uploading your response here. We ask for three different references, an academic reference and a character reference, and the third can be either an academic or a character reference. You can simply add each request for, for each one by, by clicking on the type and adding the person's information. Once you add it and you click send, that individual will receive an email saying, hey, I'm applying to Tatler College. I'd love for you to, to provide me a reference. And then once you've completed all of these steps, this little button down here will light up green and you can click submit. One thing I'll point out as well, you'll notice this full app and snap app in the top left corner. So this is just a way to see only the required pieces all in one page. So this is what it looks like. So if I just collapse this, you can see all of the different pieces that are required. Once you submit your application, your dashboard will change and it will look like this, where you have a, a message from us saying, thank you for applying. The main thing that changes is you'll see a new item here called checklist. This checklist basically tells you what we are still waiting for from you. So here in this particular application, we can see that references have been submitted and we are still waiting for a few items yet before we can review your application. In the bottom left hand side, there is a contact card and here is our admissions office phone number and our email address. If you ever have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. We are happy to help. Once the checklist is complete, your status will change to in review and you can expect to receive a decision from us shortly. You can also preview your application here on the bottom left. Thank you for applying to Satla College. We are excited to review your application.